Hello and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander Throwdown. We got there. My name is Wheeler and joining me I have a Nelson. Hey, I'm here. I got a Ben on tech. He's there too. Throwdown. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And we've got you to thank for everything we do around here, courtesy of patreon.com slash loading ready run. It's because of all of you, there's all of this. And if you like all this and want more information, you can check out the deck list for what we're playing today and more information on the format in the description below. And before we turn our bodies to stare at each other and shout our points into the void, we will also be at MagicCon Amsterdam, which should be out in a couple of days after this goes live. And this time, we will have Canadian Highlander decks with us. I am pointing to Serge and Nelson, who may have forgot them last year and disappointed a bunch of Spaniards. Aww, they weren't disappointed. Wasn't I the only one them. who brought, I was the only one who brought a command, or a, a camera. He said, he said, Commander, we're going yeah. to be on the show. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're, go we're, we're transitioning, we're going, we're going. I'm, I actually just forgot my plane ticket. I'm not even going to be in Amsterdam, unfortunately. Oh, but I'll have a Canadian Highlander deck with me, and I'll be looking out into the rain. <laughs> That's depressing. Yeah, uh, Serge and I both looked at traveling internationally with our Lotuses, and we're like, I don't know, airports are scary. We don't mm. want to lose our cars. Mm. Mm. So I, I did a Moxfield search for mm. lands okay. because everybody keeps talking about being the premier pilot of this archetype so i like i gotta check it out and the first list i saw was by it's like canadian highlander arc um database yeah but the other user was jp stetter okay. i think which i don't i didn't recognize but anyways i played with that it's got strip mine it's got mox emerald mm -hmm. it's got demonic tutor mm -hmm. it's got tainted pact mm -hmm. which is a weird one and it's got four Theralingus. Okay. I think that's 10. Strip, Mox, DT, yeah. Tainted Pact, and fourth? Yeah. That sounds yeah. like 10. Okay, and you're four color, no blue? I'm four color, no blue, and yeah, the deck has a bunch of lands, but it's mostly just looking to get your lands into the graveyard, and the curve is like pretty low. Are you playing any of the new ones from uh, Modern Horizons 3? Yes, I'm playing a bunch of the new ones from Modern Horizons 3, like Witch Enchanter. And the one that blows up a land. Okay. Well, yeah. Nelson has Witch Enchanter in hand. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I am playing four color Nadu Winged Wisdom uh, Cephalid Breakfast Thoracle Creature Combo Garbage. Awesome. Um, Nadu is a cracked magic card. If by the time you watch this, this card may be banned in some formats. Who, who knows? Hopefully card... they banned it in an MH3 draft. Yeah. We can hope. Um, so basically, my deck looks to either mill its entire library or draw its entire library and either kill you with a massive board or a Thoracle trigger. I also have Hermit Druid in here, uh, which is a little fancy. Look. Dread Return? If I wanted to play a good Nadu deck, I'd be here with Seeker Walk because that deck just got two new points with the recent points changes with uh, Spell Seeker and Time oh, Walk being decreased. Right. I'm also playing Crop Rotation and Umazawa's Jitte for what it's worth. That's okay. They're yeah. both zero points. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I've got I've got Nadu. I've got the Spring Heart Nantuko from MH3. I got some other goofy cards. I have some Fallout cards in here that I have yet to show off. Uh, Looking forward to a slumbering Megaloth or, or Mega Sloth deck. I, I'm going to leave the Sloth Dark Depths for Surge. Okay, sounds um, good. Now, who's going first? Oh, I believe you won the die roll, sir. That's right. For the st statisticians <laughs> at home. For that one statistician at yeah, home. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, we both have sevens. Yes. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. Wheeler, always a pleasure. I'm going to play a Bayou, and I'm going to cast a Skull Clamp, and then I'm going to pass the turn. I have a tapped Argoth Sanctum Nature. Oh, go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna make some a little, bears. So Friday night paper fight PPR force of habit there. Uh, I'm gonna play a tropical island, and then I'm gonna cast Sylvan Carry at it. You got it. And I'll pass. Y'all played so quick. Oh, <laughs> I, sorry. I just got Sylvan Carry at it. Oh, I, sorry. I. Uh, I I found a sucker back here. Nice. Um, no, uh, 
Paul left me at candy, and I got Aww. transfixed by it. Engineering room presence. I found a sucker back here. Okay, Call my Paul. Wheeler has uh, cast three mana worth of spells to my zero so far. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass after having played a polluted delta. Upkeep. No, All right. you're good. I'm not getting iced. No, no ice this time. <laughs> Appreciate that you wouldn't put it past me. Uh, I'm going to me. play a fetch land, a windswept heath, and I'm going to crack down to 19. Love that for you. I am going to grab a copy of Tundra. Final answer. Ba -da -ba -ba. On the tundra. On the tundra. He, he walked alone. <laughs> uh, joy to cut. I'd love to. I'm going to try to suss out Nelson's orcish bowmasters mm -hmm. by tapping three and casting Teferi Time Raveler. Teferi Time Raveler states by a static ability that each <laughs> opponent may only play spells while Teferi is on the stack. Yeah. I will sacrifice Polluted Delta, uh -huh. find a Bayou, yeah. and cast Orcish Bowmasters. You know, it's like I've done this before. It's like some cards in Magic are better than others, so you can just kind of guess that that's the one. You remember the first time I had like what I thought was a cool read, mm -hmm. and uh, it was so long ago that the card in question was actually Jace the Mind Sculptor. It's like I'll just in case they have it, I'll play around Jace the Mind Sculptor. So I'd like to deal one damage to Wheeler with this trigger and make a one-one orc army. I go to eighteen. All right, it's uh, Teferi. Teferi is in play. Great, you got it. May I have a dice for my Teferi? please? With Teferi in play. I am going to tick it up and say that uh, I can cast sorceries as though they had flash. Very good. To the next turn. Then I'm going to pass the turn. You may cut. Mm. Mm. Damn, Nelson, those are some nice sleeves. Well, thanks so much. These sleeves are uh, hopefully currently available and hopefully not sold out on store.loadingreadyrun.com. Thank you to Michelle Rapp for painting this beautiful picture and working with us to get these sleeves available for you. Uh, you, the viewer. You there. You there. What day is it? <laughs> you there. I'll cast something. Oh, I'll cast something. Oh, I'll cast something. Just you wait. You, you better believe I'll cast a spell. No, I'm going to attack Teferi with two creatures. I am going to block the Orcish Bowmasters with my Sylvan Carried. Very good. Teferi takes one. Okay. That's awesome. Courser of Cruffix. Yes. Revealing the top card of my library. It's Delighted Halfling. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Untap. Draw for turn. I am going to tick Teferi down to one. I am going to bounce the Orcish Bowmasters and draw a card. Oh boy. <clears throat> I'm going to play a Savannah. I'm going to cast a Wall of Blossoms. Draw a card. Yes. Oh. I'm going to cast a Baleful Strix. <laughs> Draw a card. All right. I'm going to clamp my Baleful Strix with Skull Clamp. Uh, draw two cards. You tried so hard, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I'm going to pass the turn. All right, I'll end up. I'll draw this Delated Halfling and reveal Lightning Bolt. Oh, oh my god, it's Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Attack to Fairy. I will... Let Teferi die. Okay. Expedition map. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice expedition map. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, Lightning Bolt. Good night, sweet Lightning Bolt. We barely ever knew you. 
I think we've known Lightning Bolt longer than most Magic cards. That's true, actually. Yeah, Lightning Bolt was like one of the first Magic cards, period. Mm -hmm. It came out in this set with all these other Magic cards, but it was like one of the ones. It was like one of the like, well, you get to play Lightning Bolt. I'll put this Strips Mine into my hand. Okay. I will shuffle. I'll play the Strip Mine. Sure. I will sacrifice the Strip. Hold on. Okay. You should probably shuffle. Should I should because shuffle? Because I've got this Corsair. Corsair. Sure, sure, sure. You're fine. I don't want to see the top card of my library, but if you do, for you... I will shuffle my library and I actually, mean, actually obey the rules. Yeah, of you magic. might hit like a wasteland or something. Nah. And hey, you could even, on top of it all, gain a life. I'm go oh, I was going to do that. I haven't missed that yet. <laughs> but that's the important part. I haven't missed the life yet. Oh, I haven't missed we're, the life. Yeah, we're saving missing that life point, point for a later <laughs> part of this game. Yeah. We're missing well, the life point when it's relevant. Yeah, yeah. We're going to miss the life point eventually. Yeah. Have no fear. Okay. It's Goblet Shrine. It's okay. staying there. Okay. Strip yeah. mine. Yeah. 20. You go up to 20. Uh, white, white, <laughs> green, 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 blue, blue. There's only one black, except for the Sylvan Carriated. Um, yeah, I'll destroy the Bayou. Okay. Bayou down. Back to you. Untap. Draw. <sighs> Going to play... A Yavimaya Coast. Dope. I'm going to tap two and cast a Spell Skite. Very good. It's been a long time yeah. since I've cast this card. I'm also going to cast a Mother of Ruins. Mm. Okay. Or even Mother of Runes. Love that for you. I'm going to pay one and I'm going to... Put a skull clamp on something so I can get mucked by Bowmaster? Hell yeah. I'm gonna put this clamp on this uh, Wall of Blossoms, and then I'm gonna pass. Clamp your mom, coward. What? <laughs> Incredible. I'll okay. Dr draw this Godless Shrine. Fable of the Mirror Breaker on top. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's not a land, though. Um... Yeah, let's just try to do the thing. I'll cast Ram and Up Excavator. Sure. I will play Strip Mine and gain one life. Sure. I will sacrifice Strip Mine, targeting Tropical Island. Yeah. Uh, I won't attack. Go ahead. Nadu Winged Wisdom. Oh dear. I am going to pay one mana to equip Skull Clamp to the Wall of Blossoms again. Does that work? That works. So you can equip, because I knew this would come up. Yeah, yeah. You can equip uh, a card that is already equipped to a creature. I know it's a legal play to pay equip and yes. target it. But like the reason we think happens? it doesn't work yeah. is because lightning greaves is the most common example oh, of this. That's not legal because you can't do it because that is shroud. Okay, but you're still allowed to pay equip, and then you still just go through the motions. Equip goes on the stack; it targets it. Targets the wall. Nadu triggers. Nadu's going to trigger. And then when it resolves, then nothing happens. Then, there is a nothing yeah, happens. Yeah, nothing period. happens. Yeah. Okay, but you're still allowed to put it. On. I knew you yeah. could put it on the stack and pay the mana. Yeah, I mean, fair I, enough. I could also just put it on the Sylvan Carrier. No, you're good. Keep it on the Wall of Blossoms. Uh, so I put it. I'm okay. doing this. So Nadu, for those that aren't familiar with this card, and, and if by the way you're not familiar with this card, oh yeah, what's it like? What's it like? <laughs> I yearn for that. <laughs> so I have this. I have the Skull Clamp trigger yeah. here. Uh, Nadu says creatures you control have whenever this creature becomes a target of a spell or ability reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land, put it into play. Otherwise, put it into your hand. This ability triggers only twice each turn. So Nadu gives that ability to each creature. So this is being targeted once. Nadu is going to uh, trigger. So I reveal the top card. It's a Narcomiva. Oh, you are playing the Dread so Return. Narcomiva <laughs> is going to go to my hand. Nice. Uh, I'm going to play a land for the turn in the form of this underground sea. And I'm going to pay one to clamp, to try and clamp this wall of blossoms again. Yes. Nadu trigger. Revealing an arid mesa. Exciting. So it goes into play. And it goes into play untapped. That's important. Yeah. I'm going to go to 17 and fetch. Try to find a fetchable duel. 
I will get a scrubland. I am then going to pay one and try to move this skull clamp over onto uh, Sylvan Carry Edit. Works. Don't worry, uh, it's only twice a turn. Nadu trigger. Revealing an Aether Vial. Drawing this. Uh, and then Clamp is going to go onto the Sylvan Carry Edit. Uh, spend Mom or not spend Mom? No, I think I'm going to pass for now. Okay. I mean, you've got the second queen protector here. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Give Nelly one more but turn. But this, well, the maybe. strip lock made it a little awkward. Like I, right. this deck's really mana hungry. Right. Well, we sort of had the opportunity to keep playing interaction with you, but we passed on it. Mm. And I don't know if the strip lock is still sort of good enough. Um... Well, I guess we can advance the plot this turn because we paid for ramming up already. Sure, why don't we go GSE Xs2. You ever think about how Canadians call it GSZ instead of GSZ? Whoa. No, not until right now, this second. And nope. I'm so disappointed in myself. Oh my gosh. Do you call it Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Z? I don't. I, <laughs> I was <laughs> I just don't. I was, I was already done elementary school by the time it came out or whatever. Mm. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Anime is for babies. Nelson Silo, 2024. Well, most of it, to be fair. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I've got two good targets. But let's go with the one that's from the new set. White of the Reliquary, a green creature costing two mana. Mm -hmm. And then I'll play a... No, I won't. I'll finish shuffling. <laughs> Courser, you mm -hmm. tricky little shuffling demander. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Game actions. No peeking. No Actually peek. peeking. Actually peeking. Don't forget to peek. <laughs> My Sphinx of Dwar Isle to me at FNM 12 years ago. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. no more, more than 12 years ago. <laughs> no, no peeking. Uh-oh. It's Arc Druid's Charm. Okay, that probably does something against your stuff because it does everything. Mm -hmm. 22 life points. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's target your Underground Sea. Underground Sea is gone. And then, are we an attacking deck? Not right now, we're not. Go ahead. If you have Solitude, you have Solitude. Uh, end of turn, I'm going to Mum. Mum uh, Minadu. Uh, mum Minadu. No, it's fine. Yeah, uh, no Minadu Solitude. Trigger. I'll reveal an Endurance. Very good. That's a good one. Uh, and then for Mum, I'll name Pro White. Okay. Untap. Draw. That was a good draw. That was a very good draw. Um, I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to bestow Springheart Nantuko onto my Sylvan Carry added. Yeah, we're triggered. Uh, so, for those not familiar with this new card, it has bestow, enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one in a green if it is attached to a creature I control. If I do, I make a to uh, token that's a copy of it. If I don't, either way, I just make a 1-1. One, one. So when it's bestowed, or sorry, even if it's not bestowed, it's always going to make a 1-1. One, one. But when it's bestowed, it gives me the option to pay two to make a copy of Sylvan Carry added. But in this case, I'm just going to say no every single time because I just want 1-1s. One, um, so I have a Nadu trigger for targeting my Sylvan Carry added. Uh, I'm going to reveal the swords, and I'm going to draw the swords. So this is now enchanted. I got some bugs. You got some bugs? Oh, I got some bugs. Great. Uh, I am then going to play a land for the turn, Misty Rainforest. I will make an insect. I'm then going to pay one... Eh. And I'm going to attempt to skull clamp my insect, Nadu trigger. You got it. Revealing an ice fang cordal into my hand. Skull clamp resolves, killing this bug, uh, drawing me two cards. 
Okay, that makes it a little bit quicker. I'm gonna cast Nomads on Core. Excellent. Uh, one mana, one one with an ability that says zero. Redirect one damage from Nomads on Core to a creature I control. So Sylvan Carry added is already being uh, targeted once. This is gonna give me an option to target something for zero over and over again. Uh, so I'm gonna use that ability to target Sylvan Carry added again. So this card's now checked. As far yeah. as Nadu triggers. Unless so. we blink Nadu, yeah. Nadu triggers, reveal a fiend artisan. Uh, I'm going to do it once on the wall blossoms, revealing an intuition. Uh, again on the wall blossoms, revealing a hedge maze. So because it's a land, it comes into play tapped. I have two triggers here. I can make an insect off of the Springheart and Antuko, and then I have the surveil. I'm going to. Oh, that's a surveil. I'm going to bin this overgrown tomb, which I shouldn't do, but that's okay. <laughs> It doesn't I'm, come into play tap because of this ability. Correct. Just because that is Just because this okay. always comes into play tap. Just checking. Uh, I'm going to then target Spellskite with Nomads on core. Okay. Uh, revealing a Thassa's Oracle. Okay. I'm going to target Spellskite again. Revealing a Survival of the Fittest. Okay. Uh, target Mum. That's a Taint Impact. Target Mum. That's an Elfish Mystic. Uh, target Nadu. That's a Grist. Target Nadu. That's an Avicence Pilgrim. I'm going to target this insect token. That's a hedge or a lush portico. Uh, so this has been targeted once. It's going to make a fresh insect surveil trigger. I'm going to bin this wall of roots. Um, and then I'm going to, I have the bug and I have the surveil. I'm going to target this insect a second time. Uh, reeling a wooded foothills. Comes into play, makes another insect. I'm going to target this insect uh, once. First time? First yeah, time. Yeah, first time. Feeling a brush land, making another insect. Can I have a dice, yeah. please? Yeah. Here you go. Actually, you I want two I'll, dice. I'll, I'll use two. No, you I'll, want three dice? I'll just use two. Okay. Because I'll have the, the insects that have been targeted yeah. twice and then the new insects. Uh, I'll target this one a second time, feeling an Eldritch Evolution. I will draw this. So I have. Two insects that have been targeted twice, and I have two insects that have yet to be targeted. Perfect. And then I'll use this as the intermittent. You sure, that's the one that's been targeted once, once you yeah. get one? Okay. So I'll target it once. Okay. Feel Yavi Maya. Comes into play. Make another makes another bug. bug. Target the insect. Demonic Consultation. So now I have three in this. At this point, I am going to um, do couple of things just to make sure that I have the most mana available. Uh, I am going to fetch my Wooded Foothills. Finding. I'm going to need that. Sets out to blow all, all his opponent's lands. Opponent has nine lands in play while he has three. <laughs> I'll get a Temple Garden. Uh, I take two, I make a bug off Nadu, or off the Springheart. I'm going to fetch again. Okay. Win to 13, finding a Hallowed Fountain. I'll take two, and I'll make a bug. Um, I am going to... You didn't get a Black Source. Cast... No, it's You're fine. doing something else. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to cast Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing this Wall of Blossoms as an additional cost. You got it. So Aldrich Evo is going to find me a creature and put it but in But you're only card. allowed to find stuff from your deck, not your hand, which I, is where most of your cards already are. So. Well, thankfully, there's there. a certain card that is not in my hand right now, I hope. I believe you. I may have drawn it. No, there it is. Uh, I'm going to find Cephalid Ooh, Illusionist. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so for those unfamiliar, Cephalid Illusionist is a two-mana 1-1 one, one that says, when it becomes the target of a spell or ability, I put the top three cards in my library into my graveyard. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap two. I'm going to cast the Stasis Oracle that I got off Nadu. Sure. And then uh, Thoracle on the stack and Nadu triggers on the... Or I guess Thoracle on the stack, I'm going to activate Nomads on core, targeting my Cephalid, which mills me three. Um, and then there's Nadu a Nadu triggers. trigger. But I'll respond... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, because I don't actually draw the card. It just gets put into my hand. 
Right, you can't even lose the game to yeah. it, right? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'm basically just going to repeatedly just target my Illusionist with, with my Nomads on Core, milling my entire deck, and then Thassa's Oracle is going to resolve, and I will win the game. Sounds good. Cool. No, uh... Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide, Mana, Morpho, no. Stifle. <laughs> I knew I should have sandbagged the Teferi. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice showing from Nadu. Thank you. Yeah. We got to see the power of it right away. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything going pretty much smoothly for Wither's deck there. I feel a lot better about pulling a foil profile version of this during the PPR. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. When that when it gets banned, do you want to ship? Or yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of, I might just sell it this weekend. Oh, right. Smart. That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. That's a that's good smart. idea. Hopefully by the time of airing, it hasn't gotten banned yet. <laughs> Well, they're doing, there's a band list announcement on the 24th of okay. um, uh, June. June. Yeah. Okay. Which they said they're not going to touch modern. Okay. Which is one of the big Nadu formats, because that's where the, the Pro Tour is going to be modern. Right. But, you know, who knows? What's the biggest shell that the card's being used in right now? Is it is it hammer time? Well, that's the fun thing, Ben, <laughs> is that you can play it wherever. Yeah. Are there Nadu Fair. Amulet Titan, dedicated Nadu decks, turbo Nadu decks. I feel like Bubba Gump talking yeah, about Yeah, I was going to say, it's like you can get your boiled yeah, Nadus, yeah. you can get your fried mm -hmm. Nadus. Fun fact, yeah. the Vintage Challenge this past weekend, mm -hmm. second place, Nadu. Ooh. Excellent. Yeah, four Nadu, four Springheart, and two film. Seems like a fantastic Nadu format. It's a card that, I mean, you got to play a lot of donkey cards. And, like, I feel like the Nadu decks uh, for Highlander are just going to get kind of eviscerated by Jeskai. Like, sure. All the, like, other combo decks, too, that are just faster. Or... Does, yeah, do you think the deck feels a little bit like a ramp deck where the problem is if you're playing against permission or like some sort of control that they get to ignore a bunch of your cards like you have a, several cards in your deck that are like okay well that's fine i'm not yeah. actually worried about that i don't have to counter that and it's not going to attack me to death you know yeah and we lose out on the density of like delighted halflings or like cavern of souls that you're right. gonna find in the 60 card formats i'll play first okay good luck thank you you too uh... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I will keep. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, you know what? Sure, why not? It's not Bridgeworks Battle. It's Tangle Span Bridgeworks. And I'm just going to... Should I pay the three life? Shh. I promise not to attack you that much. Yeah, okay, actually, I will. I'm just going to put it in play tap. But I'll cast this Chromatic Star instead. Go ahead. Uh, Spar's headquarters tapped. Go ahead. Um, Overgrown Tomb also untapped. 15. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Interesting. Tundra. Sylvan Carry Abbott. Go ahead. Orcish Bowmaster? <laughs> no, I don't have Orcish Bowmaster. Chromatic Star for White. Play Samwise the Stout Hearted. <laughs> Ooh. I'll just untap and draw. Um, basic Swamp. Corsair of Cruffix again. Uh huh. It's a Nether Goyf on Ooh. top. Currently a 0 1. Go that's, ahead. That's a good one. It's okay. I put this Chromatic Star in here just for you, buddy. Thank you. Right? You got an egg over there? Yeah. Mm. I don't like eggs. You know, other people can like eggs too. Look, I, I never said people can't. I know, like I know. I okay, know. okay, great. Know. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're, good. Like, we're good. We're good. We're good, big dog. We're good, big dog. He's big dog and me. <laughs> uh, gonna play an overgrown tomb untapped. I'm gonna cast a nomads encore. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast Grist the Hunger Tide. All right. And immediately sacrifice this nomads encore to kill your Corsair Crufix. Very good. Go ahead. The Corsair Crufix is dead. Try this nether goyf everyone knows about. Everybody knows. Read Grist for the 15th time. Mm -hmm. mm. She's pretty good. Make one ones. Mill yourself, maybe. Gosh. Mill yourself, definitely. Then mill yourself, maybe. Mm -hmm. So many good things happening. I do have insects in here. Right? Polluted Delta. Mm -hmm. um, I just 
want to cash this in. I'll make a white mana just in case. Sure. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. And then. You sound sincere. Mm hmm. Sincerity. <laughs> I'll, cast, <laughs> I'll cast another Goyf. Yeah. One more thing. I got to have a think here. Cards in hand? Four. Ugh. I made that sound. Go ahead. Okay. Right. Untap. Draw. Uh, tick up Grist. I make a bug. Could and you pass me a green black and, insect? And bug? Oh no, I didn't bring those. I and I well, mill. I will. This. I will. Give me a second. You can have a mono green insect for a moment. I'll take a bug. Um. I'm gonna play. Thank you. I'm gonna play an arid mace as my land for the turn. And I'm gonna tap three and play Oko Thief of Crowns. That's a good one. I am going to make a food token. And I'm going to pass the turn. I'll sacrifice this polluted delta. Yep. Not 14. <clears throat> okay, good. I need to get the one that is a swamp, but that also taps for white mana. They call it a scrubland. But you know what? What? Plenty of players of all stripe have been known to put it down on the table. Scrub, yeah. scrub, and otherwise. I mean, for any other duel, <laughs> <laughs> I'll cast Assassin's Trophy. Tar trophy. I'll cast Assassin's Trophy, targeting Oko Thief of Crowns. Okay, the trophy attacks by. <laughs> yes, Oko. you may you may look for a basic land, and put it on the battlefield. Oh, fail to find. Yeah, I, I wondered if maybe that was going to be the case. I do have Hermit Druid in here. I thought I, about going after your second land when you cast the Sylvan mm -hmm. Carrington. You're like, is it is it Bowmasters? I'm like, no, you probably have one, right? <laughs> right, you did mention Hermit no. Druid yeah. earlier. Okay. I have played a Hermit Druid deck with a cheeky one-lander. It was when I put Hermit Druid in Sandy B. I was like, yeah, I'll draw my Wood Elves. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Don't even worry about it. Uh, okay. I could do that and that, and that seems like that's what happens. Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll attack with Nethergoyf against Grist. I will block with my insect. Smart. Really good play. Thank you. Conduit of Worlds. Oh, that's... Yeah. I may play lands from my graveyard, even. Mm hmm And I will do that. <laughs> with this polluted delta. DM? DM, I do that. Yeah. And, and then I'll sacrifice the polluted delta and okay. go 13. Okay, we got a bit of a bit of shuffleage to do here, if you will. We're gonna go through some tutoring. Tutelage and shufflery. Toodaloo. <laughs> Toodaloo. 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 Yep. Okay, it's by you. Yeah. And then it's Crop rotation. I want to sacrifice this Tangle Span Bridge Works. Oh, because I don't think there's a sorcery in my bin yet no. for Nether Goyf. Look at that! Damn, this Goyf's huge. So big. And then the land I will find will come into play. And creature, creature or enchantment, artifact, land, instant sorcery. Six seven. It's a large Goyf. It's a one mana six seven. Yeah. With upside. I will sacrifice the strip mine immediately and destroy your. Smart, smart. That works. Yeah. Okay. Back to you. I will shuffle. I'm gonna to go to 17. I'm gonna find the luscious portico I can grab from this deck. I want to give a shout out to Paul Scryfall Grabber for this image. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's just what strip mine looks like right now. It's the same in uh, Moxfield, I think. Localized like, image, not available. It's not available, and yet you can kind of see it. <laughs> Is it supposed to be Spanish? <laughs> Spanish strip mine? I don't know. I don't, which which locale are, are we not getting? Like, e, well, ES is usually Espanol. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, That's what the ES means. I didn't even know. Yes. Yes, yes. I would like to yes. lush portico. I would like to surveil, yes. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that For on the top. queen, I will surveil this land. Untap. Okay. Drop. Oh, it's the version you put in your list, Nelly. Okay, so yeah, it's it's not Paul's fault. It's that uh, it it is the right picture. It was like you the did first fourth one I edition grabbed. foreign black border. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you have a fourth edition foreign black. You got an FBB strip in there? No, it's antiquities. Mm, nice. You got a tower in that picture? Oh, never mind. No, it's the same one. Sorry, I saw the picture and it was the no, same, no, so I didn't no, do no, anything. No, no. I'm, I'm roasting. I'm ro <laughs> the tower one is the pricier of the two. Mm, uh, of course it is. I'm going to bestow the Springheart Nantuko onto Sylvan Carry Added. What a good play. Uh, thank you. I'm going to play a Caracas and I'm going to make a green bug. Nice. Then I'm going to tick up Grist and make a black and green bug. Excellent. Uh, milling a polluted delta. Okay. And then I am going to pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. Uh... Hmm. <clears throat> Springheart Nantuko. This card's pretty annoying. Can I see your graveyard again? Yeah. Let's see it. Okay. Hmm. Hex proof. Mm hmm. Well, let's play this strip mine. Okay. Target this Caracas. Okay, my crick is gone. Crick. I'm not doing that. I might as well do that. Seems fine. And I should probably also do that. Should I do that or that? I'd do that. Yeah. 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 I'm going to target this chromatic star. Okay. It's a permanent card, and I have not cast a spell yet this turn. Correct. I will pay a black mana to cast it. Okay. All right. I'm not going to cast additional spells this turn. Okay. Okay. Pinky swear? Yes. Okay. I've played a land. I wish to attack Grist with my Nether Gorf. I'm going to block with my black green bug. Excellent. Great. Okay, I want to pass. Mm -hmm. And then on your turn, in your upkeep. Upkeep. I wish to sacrifice my chromatic star to make a red mana. Okay. And draw a card. Okay. It's your turn. Okay, draw some? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play Uro. Nice. Uh, so I go up to 20, draw a card. Don't have a land to put into play. Unfort. Uh, I will minus two and uh, sack the insect to destroy the nether goyf. Good night. And I goyf. will pass the turn. We appreciate your service. Good night, Moon. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, we found this one. It's fast bond. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We don't have the life machine because we need to play a different spell this turn. Mm -hmm. So we're going to lose some life. Sick. I will play a one land for yep. the turn. I will destroy that one. Okay. Then I will lose a life, go to 12, mm -hmm. and destroy that one. Mm -hmm. Then I will lose a life, go to 11, and destroy that one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's the position right now. Do I need to make more mana or lose? I just want to put this in place so that if you get your um, graveyard exiling, I don't get totally goozled by it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll cast this Ramanab Excavator to have a beat down it. Twins. <laughs> exactly, go ahead. I'm going to play a Land of War Wastes. Yeah. Uh, trigger. I'm going to no. pay two hey, and it make out. a copy <laughs> of my Sylvan Carry added. A copy token, please a, and thank a you. A copy token for Wheeler. Right away, sir. There you go. Thank you. God, imagine taking away all of someone's land so they can't cast any spells. What a horrible move that would be. Mm, seems <laughs> unnecessary. Uh, I'm going to tick up Grist. Yeah. Mill a Neoform. You got it. Get this bug. Go ahead. Okay, I'll untap. Okay, I guess I have to do that then. I'll... No, I should wait. After all, why shouldn't I? I'll play this Field of the Dead. Yeah, that's a good one. And then I'll lose a life. I'll play this Polluted Delta. Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll make a zombie. Okay. It's a two, two. don't know that I have a way to keep you off another turn. I think I just let, need to let you have another turn. So that's fine. I'll do this and I'll reanimate my Corsair Crufix. Okay. Okay. 
Maybe could have just used Conduit of Worlds this turn. That's okay. I lose three life. Thank yeah. you. Okay. And then I will play this strip mine. Yeah. Life neutral. Yeah. And you make, make a zombie. zombie. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll target itself. Yeah. And then play it again. Yeah. And make a million zombies. Yeah. So Nelson has generated a loop with infinite landfall triggers and Field of the Dead, Using meaning these, that these you, four yeah. cards right here are doing a thing. Okay. So then eventually the board will look like this, except this will have like an 88 on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then I'll attack Risk for two. I'll block with my Sylvan Carry at it. Perfect. Go ahead. Nope. Okay. Okay. All right. You got to do the strip. Thing. I got to do the four card combo there that my deck includes with all some, you know, pieces that sometimes do other things. Mm -hmm. The humble courser of Cruffix getting to have his moment in the sun. Hmm. All the old players watching, mm -hmm. you know? Don't look up how long ago Courser of Cruffix came out. It was only a decade. Yeah. No, I feel like it was more. <laughs> a decade ago it was great. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's got to be more. A decade. I ago. enjoyed myself a decade ago. <laughs> had to, had to, has to be. Which had to have been. There's just no way. Hip half to re. Okay, okay. One more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do enjoy best of threes. Yes, please. Oh no, my boots. Okie dokie. You know, I hadn't actually seen that art of Assassin's Trophy before. Oh. That you played. It's from, uh, what is that? The Double Masters? Yeah. Uh, just kind of looks like the statue's pogging. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's just the G.I. Joe guy. Yeah. The uh, skiing Australian. <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches. Does your mom still hang out at Duckside Bars? I'm still hanging out at Duckside Bars. Do you like to play baseball? I like to play baseball, Jimmy. Um, I'll keep. You're it. keeping. Yeah. I think I keep. Do I? Uh, God. Uh, I got a tank. Sorry. It's this okay. hand is a weird one. <sighs> no, but I'm gonna show it off. Okay. I have Bridgeworks Battle and Fell the Profane and three other real lands and Minsk and Boo, which I always hate to mulligan. But the only thing I can do is not Arc Druid's Charm. Like it actually. Yeah. Really it's just Minsk and Boo on four. If it cast Arc Druid's Harm, I think I would have keep, kept it, but like probably that would have been wrong. There's a lot of ways that hand goes Pretty poorly. South, yeah. yeah. It was crucial to show it off though in the match, because it's like, hey, look at these MH3. Lights. You do need to show it off. Look at these MH3 cards that are in here. Check out this Minsk and Boo. From MH3. They just keep printing Minsk and Boo in every set. Please stop. You should have stopped before you started. Mm. Out of curiosity, for Natty Breakfast, uh -huh. how many like cards like the Nomads do you have to put in that like, you uh, know? I have four. Okay. No, five. Wow. I have five. Yeah. Uh, Shuko, Lightning Greaves, Nomads Encore, Shaman Encore, and Warrior Encore. Basically, if it's two mana or less, I'm going to play it. Yeah, we gotta go to five here. Going to five, boss. Going to five, boss. Going to five, boss. No big deal. NBD going to five. You got a Fury in your deck. You're fine. Sure do. It's true. I'm just a simple creature deck. Please don't blow Please, up my creatures. Oh no! You've had expert creatures. Please in the game. don't blow up my mana dorks. Play Springheart and not Duco on something I can target. Challenge 2024. Impossible. <laughs> Core Firewalker. <laughs> Imagine I'm putting Cork Firewalker into my deck this year. I want to play that format. It's still good against Blue Moon. Is it? <laughs> hey, it's maybe, I don't know. Yeah, okay. it's really good at waving at the Merc Tide region <laughs> as it sails over hi, the Hi, hi. Hello there. All right, we probably have to keep this one. Um, okay, let's. Make something happen with these four. And one of you special people get to stay, too. How about... Which one will it be? Which one will it be? Um, I think it actually is going to be you. Okay, great. Okay. 
No, I changed my mind. Okay. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's all. Hi. Uh, Brushland. Yep. 19. Thin Horn Elfin. Go okay. ahead. Yeah, let's do that. It's a cool draw. And they say it gets colder. Which... I got a chuckle! <laughs> then we'll chuckle off stage. Which, which blessed meadow? <laughs> this one! Go ahead. Which blessed meadow? Lotus Cobra. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to play a fetch land. Very nice. Uh, landfall trigger, I will add a green. I am then going to fetch. Damn Not of the Royal Crate. Not of the Royal Crate. Right, right. no. Not of the Royal Crate. Damn no, it. No, no, no. 55 I, just <laughs> Royal Crates. 55 Fought Dogs. Uh, uh, 55 Eldrazi Conscriptions. 55 Sovereigns of Lost Laura. Mm-hmm. 55 Ground Clouds. 55. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to grab a Tropical Island bottom card. That means it's the best kind of tutor. It saw the most cards. <laughs> Everyone's favorite thing. Going through your entire deck to notice, oh, the card I wanted with Mystical Tutor was already on top. That's there, my favorite. There were people back in the day that when they cast Mystical Tutor, it was the top card, would genuinely get mad. Yeah. Like, oh, waste of a tutor. It's yeah. Like, oh, that's, that's not, not how, how that works. That works, but... But I was next to them, just like, tired out of my mind. Yeah. Sh- sure. Sensei's topping, and then Mystical Tutoring to put the same <laughs> card back on top, just to get in the opponent's head. Uh, the Sylvan Carry added is back on the Escalator You've got to be kidding me with the Sylvan Carry too. And <laughs> Birds of Paradise, go ahead. All right. I mean, I say all right. I don't mean it. Strip block this. No. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> um, you can't kill all my idiots. Although a Fury would still be a sick... Th- <laughs> I, have, oh. I have this one. Uh-huh. Do I blow up the blue or the white? Probably the white. You, t- you have a Sylvan carry to no matter what happens. I'm going to take this one away, okay. and I do have Fury. I'm going to oh. exile my Fable the okay. Mirror Breaker. Yeah, and I'll go one, two, one. Wait, can I go upstairs? No. No. Okay, that's fine. Checking for the first time, because I've never wanted to before. Go ahead. Uh, Scalding turn. Yeah. Skull climb. Yeah. Climb the carrier. You got it. Go ahead. If it's tapped, it loses expert, right? Uh, 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 tapped. Overgrown tomb. Go. Fetch. Down to 17. Now, this is why the surveil lands are great, because when you get blown to smithereens by a fury, it lets you potentially rebuild. Or it lets you mill a land so that you can draw the next land. <laughs> The surveil lands are pretty great, period. Yeah, they're pretty clutch. Yeah. I keep thinking about the set review when we covered them, and just re- I remember being like, they're pretty good, but they're kind of niche where you'd want to put them, and then it would be like, like, this one goes in this deck, this goes in this deck, and then by the end of it, it's like, oh, wait, no, that's all of them. Yeah, by the time the set review came out, we were like, actually, they all go in lots of yeah, decks. Yeah, like, should put, go in decks. You should put every, you should put... One in almost every deck. If you're least, a blue right? deck, you should play them. Yeah. Or if you're an enemy color deck, you should play them. Or like a lands deck, you should play. Yeah, it turns out that almost every deck is like, I need to play at least yeah. one. Uh, hedge maze trigger. Yeah. I will keep that on top. Awesome. On top. Draw. Savannah. Grist. Nice. Uh, I'm going to mill a card and make a bug. Bug. Oh, just one card, Wheeler, not eight. Oh, yeah. What if I go runner, runner, <laughs> runner on insects? Let's hit. Let's do it. No, that's a mom. Okay. Uh, I am going to use Hornet this. Queen, where are you at? Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. going to use this man to try and clamp my bug. That's fine. All right. Uh, draw two. Go ahead. Tap. Mm. 18. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Ram and Epic Squitter. Okay, go ahead. Draw. Gonna use a mana and I'm gonna clamp the Sylvan Carry added. And then I'm going to minus two and kill your Ram and App. You got it. Uh, drawing two cards. Sounds good. Hmm. 
Mm. Gonna play a flooded strand, and I'm gonna pass. Polluted Delta. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice. Yeah. Badlands. Mm hmm. I think my deck's pretty random, but the feel of these sleeves is great. <laughs> Stomp targeting Grist. Yep. An adventure for you, Bone Crusher Giant. Ooh -hoo. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to fetch. And a 16. I'm going to grab a underground sea. I think if my plan is stupid or based, <laughs> I think it may be both. Got to risk uh, getting washed to get clean or whatever they say. Mm -hmm. Draw. <clears throat> kind of a weird turn. I'm going to cast Tainted Pact. Awesome. That one? Maybe. <laughs> That one's a pretty good Nantuko target. I gotta keep going, I think. I'm gonna keep this card. But you could just keep going to get whatever the target is. Uh, <laughs> I might need a... You might need cards in your deck later. I need my deck, sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play a Temple Guard untapped, and I'm going to pass. That's it. Yeah, you're more important. Sorry, Bone Crusher Giant. You will remain on an adventure. The Corsair Crufix is sure. back. It's a Verdant Catacombs on top. Okay. I will play an Urza Saga from my hand yeah. and gain one life. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, El Damry's call. Yep. Yeah. I think because you're hell bent. I'm just go to get this stupid bird. Seems good. Yeah. I guess like the tutor is a little better than exiling most of your deck to find it because you're well, you could have cast last turn. You played your Tum Garden Tap, didn't you? Okay, so but then you don't have anything to protect it and this way you can clamp it right away. Yeah, I think given I, I had like some kind of mana open. Given there. the fact that you felt pretty strapped on resources as well, I kinda just wanted to not remove the utility aspect of my deck, but sure. also like hit one of the best, if not the best card in my deck. Uh, I also have a tainted pact with some potentially awkward lines available to me, like that one had. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Nadu, Winged Wisdom. I'm going to I feel wise just pay one it. and go to Clamp Nadu, Nadu Trigger. Yeah. I'm going to draw the Snowball Hierarch. I'm going to pay one and cast Noble Hierarch. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to play my land for the turn in the form Ooh. of Gaius Cradle. Sick. I'm going to add two green, and I'm going to use one of that to target my Nadu. Works. So down to a green. Trigger. I'll put a Sparrow's Headquarters into play. Uh, I'm going to use the other green to target my uh, Hierarch with the Clamp. Nadu Trigger. That's a Thoracle into my hand. Uh, clamp on Hierarch Resolves. Draw two. And I'll pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Saga. Let's... Wish we were in a better spot. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll put this Godless Shrine to play tapped and gain one life. Yep. And... Sega. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh boy, this just got very difficult. Um, I think casting that is pretty good. But I have to play that to get that. You gotta play that to get that. That's true. Who said that? <laughs> You've got to play the card in order to read the card, right? That's how it works. I think I'm going to cast Narc Amiibo. I'm fine with it. And then I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to cast Neoform, okay. sacrificing Narc Amiibo. Works. Uh, so I'm going to get a three drop into play with a 1-1 one -one counter on it. You've got a dice. Yeah. means I'm going to get Eternal Witness. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll get Eternal Witness. Uh, with a counter. Storm is two. Uh-huh. Thinking about what I want to grab here. Sweet. Okay. You picked up your hand. I'm like, this would be the first time I've watched Ben Wheeler forget a witness trigger. <laughs> I've got a weird... My mana's a little awkward. I should have thought about how I tapped for this Narc Amoeba, but that's fine. I think I can maybe still either kill you or not die. <laughs> One of the two. Okay. At the very least, I can try to... I get back that. That's pretty exciting because I have that. I think that's what I do. I'm going to get back Lotus Cobra to okay. my hand. I'm going to tap two and play Lotus Cobra. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to play Avern Catacombs and I'm going to add a blue mana to my mana pool. Thank you. I'm going to then fetch. Grabbing a legal dual land. Is the plus one plus one counter from Neoform here kind of awkward, or does it not matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. It's kind of funny though. Like yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to get this Bayou, and I'm going to get another trigger uh, from Lotus Cobra to get blue again, or another blue. Okay. We're almost down to a standard deck. Um, I am then going to... I have to get that in the yard to do that in the first place. The counter, actually, you know what? Now that you mentioned yeah, it, yeah, the counter, the counter is really matter. awkward with oh, okay. the clan. <laughs> All right, I'd prefer right. to get this in the graveyard. Sure. Uh, I'm going to tap this guy's cradle three for three green. green. I'm going to then use one of the green to target my Eternal Witness, okay. uh, Nadu Trigger, revealing a Lush Portico. I'm going to put Lush Portico in play, uh, which will add a black mana. And thank you. And Surveil. And I'll keep that on top. So this now has a counter. Or the, the clamp. Right, it has a clamp, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use. One of the green I have floating to equip the witness again. Okay, Nadu time. is going to trigger, uh, reveal an arid mesa. This comes into play. I'm going to add a black mana. I'm then going to fetch with the arid mesa, grabbing a tundra, which is going to ca uh, cause. Um, Lotus Cobra to trigger again. And I'll add another black. I am going to use three black and one to cast Dread Return. Nice. I'm going to target my Grist. It's a creature in your graveyard? It's a creature. As long as it's not on the battlefield, it's a 1-1 one, one in addition to everything. Reanimate that bug. So, Grist is here. Grist has arrived. Hello, Grist. Uh, three 
counters. Um, I am going to sacrifice this eternal witness to destroy your courser of crew fix. Um, and but first, I'll draw. Two I got cards, I got right? two cards to draw yep. off this uh, eternal witness. Right. Yeah. Okay, wrist works. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use this blue. You got blue here, right? You got two right, floating right, blue. Right. If you want right. to use blue, uh, yeah, I'll use this. It's probably easier for tracking. I'm going to use the blue to target Nadu. Sure. First time this turn, right? First time this yeah. turn. Reveal lightning griefs. Got to draw the lightning griefs. Uh, I'm going to use one and a blue here to cast Lightning Greaves. Sure. I'm going to then put the Greaves on Nadu. You got it. Uh, second trigger. Yeah. Feeling like an Oko. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to remove the Greaves over to Lotus Cobra. Did we? I just want to double check. Did we? Did we target Nadu three times or just two? Did you, just two. Just, just the Clamp and okay. then this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. first time t targeting Cobra. Yeah. Real an intuition. Okay. I'm going to then have to move the boots over here and then move it back to the Cobra. He's got a second creature. He can do the Greaves thing. And I got a uh, Nadu trigger here to reveal a Marsh Flats. Marsh Flats goes into play. Uh, I'm going to get a Landfall trigger. It is going to be for a green. Uh, I am then going to fetch. Down to 13. Well, we had another game earlier where Wheeler had all these lands and all these Nadu triggers every turn, and it went badly for me. But hey, maybe this time, after he's assembled Lotus Cobra and Lightning Greaves, it'll all turn around. We can only hope. I think. Uh, I need a green black. Uh, I'm going to shock myself, grabbing an overgrown tomb here. Um, which will add a blue to my pool. I don't know why I passed that to you because I'm about to do fine. this. Tap three, and I'm going to cast uh, in... Oh. Not intuition, something else? Ooh, wait, hold on. Holding on. Uh, three mana. Three mana. No, I have to do it this way. No, no, I don't. I'm going to cast Oko instead. Okay. That works. I'm going to cast Oko. You had a green and a blue and one blue. Yes, yeah, yes. This is sick. This is sick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make Skull Clamp into, into an, an elk. elk. Sure. Uh, I probably can get you in just a second. With the Oko. Thank you. I'm then going to put the Lightning Greaves on the elk. Great. Nadu trigger. Great. It's going to put Yavi Maya into play. I'm going to add a blue. Awesome. I'm going to then move the Greaves over to Nadu, which isn't going to do anything, but then I'm going to move the Greaves back to the Elk Nadu trigger. Uh, pre formal, Ooh. pre war formal wear. The skank and boots! <laughs> pick it up, pick it up. That's right. Um, I am then going to. Oh, I added the wrong color, man. I mean, I guess I didn't know I would draw this. Sorry, this turn is oh, yeah, really it's, it's been a thing. messed up. Like I think it is to my benefit to I'm at eleven. I'm trying to see if I can possibly die right. to you. I know what you're drawing, but and you draw that before that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to flashback dread return. Okay. Target. Uh, I'm going to target Eternal Witness. Okay. Uh, Eternal Witness is going to come into play and bring back uh, this Tainted Pact. Okay. And then I am going to... It's exiled. I am going to... Put the 
clamp or put the Greaves. greaves on the the eternal witness, and then I'm going to pass the turn. I will make a one one windmill. Okay. Untap. Sorry, I have to clean oh, up. Oh yeah, as well. you clean up away. Uh, I'm going to discard this water. Or sorry, this windswept teeth. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Draw. This trigger. Mm-hmm. Am I making more windmills? Seems right. Sure. More. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you, Nelson. Mm-hmm. I was really hoping that you were just gonna untap and play Price of Progress. Oh my God, that card's not in my deck, but that would have been incredible. <laughs> all that. Onto a game four. Right. <laughs> Urza Saga yeah. third yeah. chapter, please. Third third Urza Saga. One or zero. Or zero. So close to me. I mean, I mean, it was a great turn. I I don't know. You you'll know or whatever. You can watch the tape to see if you missed a crucial. Yeah, I think line, my but... my Lotus Cobra mana was a little awkward. It was one of the cases of like the cards were in the wrong zones. Okay. Um, and it would have been much easier if I had not uh, drawn one of these very important cards. But sometimes you kind of have to go for it anyways. And I think if I had played it, if I had sequenced it properly, I could have gotten there. All right. I don't feel like I'm losing to creatures, but maybe that's how it'll go. I'm going to put this Chromatic Star into play instead of Shadow Sphere. Okay. You may cut. I will sacrifice your max to make a red mana. Sure. I'll cast this Bone Crusher Giant. Sure. Play a Burden Catacombs and sacrifice it. Yep. 18. Cast this expedition map. Yep. And then I'll attack Oko for three. Uh, yep. Yeah, Oko takes three. Go ahead. Down to two. Okay. Untap. Draw. Uh, I am going to cast. Jesus, I bought a mana. It's true. Yeah. Not the uh, not the strip my deck's favorite position. You only have one card in hand. I have one card in hand. Yeah, it's true. Uh, should I go through the motions of getting to fairy three in play? Be my guest. You have the mana. That's true. Uh, sure. Let's do. I'm renaming your deck to Super Friends, so if you play a third planeswalker on the battlefield. No. That's right. Uh, okay. Team deal. Titans assemble. Uh, I'm going to. It may be called Breakfast at Teferi's. Mm, oh, I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I that's like that a good. lot. Uh, I'm going to make a, a bug. Okay. And mill polluted delta. You got it. Um, I am going to turn my lightning greaves into, into an elk. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I get your elk token. I think I, yeah, Did you bring one? All right. There you go. Uh, a grelk. A grelk. I'm going to tap for three green, and I'm going to use two green and a blue, and I'm going to cast Intuition. Resolves. Choose me? Choose you. Aw. You chose me. I'll get Sabine's Reclamation. Did I play Teferi this game? Uh, I I don't remember. I mean, you tainted Pact it already this game. Is it in here? Oh, I, I tainted it. It is. Oh, you tainted Pact oh, this in your exile. Oh, this does, this you is can't, useless. You can't Teferi. Actually, no, it's fine. I'll get uh, Sabine's Reclamation, Unearth, and I don't know. Reanimate. Great. <laughs> I feel like you're going to get a Nadu bag. Um, let's put. Th- th- this doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I'll put the reanimate in your hand. Okay. Deals damage. Sure. Uh, I'm going to cast Thassa's Oracle. Sure. Uh, trigger on the stack. Yeah. I'm going to cast uh, Demonic Tutor. Or sorry, my consult- consultation. Cool. I love that intuition. It's my favorite. <laughs> I'll name Ben Ben Aki Hermit. Awesome. And then uh, it's not in my deck, and I'll mill, and then this will trigger. Well played. Yeah. Thank you for Good the game, games, sir. So enjoy them. 
Yeah. Yeah, not to be like, oh, I screwed up. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll kill you. Yeah, you but, know, it's yeah, I have the It Thorgold. seemed like you almost had enough mana to do it on your turn, and like you didn't quite. I had the Thoracal and the Dread Return in hand, and so I like very awkward mana of needing to get enough creatures, and the Taint Pact was in the yard. So I needed to get enough creatures in play uh, that I could sack them all to Tainted Pact, to Dread Return to get back Tainted Pact in my hand. Um, and I just couldn't, like, set that up. My mana was really wonky yeah, because of the Thoracle requirement. And it's, it's, it sort of reminds me of, like, it's a little bit of taking turns. Like, any of these combo decks that, like, don't immediately go infinite once you kind of have the thing happening, right? Like, it doesn't mm -hmm. immediately just do everything for you. You have to, like, plan for what you're going to draw into and try to anticipate setting your mana yeah. correctly for that, even though you don't have the perfect information. And yeah. after every Nadu trigger, I have to go like, okay, I hit a land, and yeah. it was a fetch land, so I get mana off Cobra, but what do I have, what can I even, like, successfully fetch? Yeah. Or not? And, yeah, there are a lot of interesting pivot points with this deck, which I always find pretty interesting in combo. It tends to lead to a less successful combo deck. Right. But, you know, it, it, it felt pretty good. I you mean, not a bunch of cool cracks. cards. Yeah. Like, when was the last time you played uh, any of the Encore that target something? Like, Cephalid Breakfast in Highlander? I like... did play a Legacy League with oh, uh, okay. Cephalid Breakfast last year, but nice. other than that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nadu really turning the, uh, the Cephalid Breakfast heat up, spicing it if you were adding some peppers mm -hmm. to Cephalid Breakfast. Nadu. It seems like the close one of the closest cards I can think of that like feels like a alchemy card in paper, a little yep. bit. Just with the like the the, the can only resolve twice the thing is is wild. Can only resolve twice really makes me think like yeah we developed this a lot and this is what we were finished on. This is what we were happy with. Yeah, either it was even more broken than it was, and they said let's tone only it down twice. a bit. Yeah, exactly. Or it wasn't broken enough. And they're like, just make a little, just you know, have it for every creature. I wonder if they had a, a version of development that was just like, only once, but every creature gets it. And then they were like, that's nah, still not enough. We, wanted, we need to juice it up a little bit. Twice. We, we, we goose them up a little yeah, bit, you know? Yeah, a little bit. Sure, why not? Let's ruin a bunch of formats. Anyways, thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you liked what you saw, you can support us over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Uh, that's what lets us do all this. Grab our copies of Nadu and Nauduke it out for you on camera. Of course, there are other ways you can support us, but that's probably one of the best ways. And if you want to find out more information, such as the decks we played or uh, Canadian Highlander as a format, you can look in the description down below. And again, we're at Amsterdam. If you see us at Amsterdam, say hi. Maybe try to challenge us to a game or a match. Maybe a game. We're all very busy. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. And I said, what about breakfast at the fairies? I said, I can't believe I let that resolve. Did Capote sing that? Goodbye, everybody. Yeah.